Hey guys, it's Ashley Trey here, and if you're interested in how I turn that to this, keep watching. So as you can see, this rumper, it looks good, but I lost a lot of weight and it doesn't fit me the same anymore. So I really want, I still like the fabric and everything, so I wanted to keep it and kind of turn it into uh, a crop top and some shorts. The way the rumper's set up, it's going to be very easy to do that because it has an elastic band. So right now what I'm doing, I'm cutting across the elastic band. And if you have something like this that I have, I would recommend you just doing a little slit and doing it one at a time because I end up cutting the shorts a little bit too much. And voila. You could stop here, but I don't really like the way the shirt looks. It looks a little too straggly for me, so I'm going to kind of clean it up a little bit. So this is the adhesive I'm going to be using. It's called Heat and Bond and I got it from Walmart. It's really cheap and very effective. So right now what I'm going to be doing is ironing out the shirt just to get all the wrinkles out so I could see more of what I'm doing. Now I'm just going to measure out how much I need right now for the adhesive strip. And be very careful with this, it's nothing to rush because once you use the iron and glue it together there's really no turning back, but we can't afford that, you know. Now what I'm going to be doing is trying to see where I want the shirt, like how short I want it because I'm going to have to take the fabric and flip it over as you can see what I'm doing on the adhesive strip and it has to be like spot on and there can't be any um, adhesive strip outside because it'll get stuck to the iron so make sure you pay attention to that as well. So now I have the iron, I'm going to make sure the steam is not on and it's on cotton to go with the type of fabric I have. So I'm going to put it over it for 3 seconds as the instructions tell me to do. And try not to lift it up because it's not dry yet at this point. And another three seconds. Also, the packaging says to flip it over and do it on the opposite side, so that's what I'm about to do right now. So now I'm doing the same thing again, just pushing it into that little slot of where I finished off and I'm going to flip the fabric over where I see fit. And then I'm going to let it sit for another 3 seconds. Okay, so now you see the way the back is looking. Okay, that's cute. I could stop there, but I'm not going to because I want it to be all around the same length. So that's how the front's looking. That's kind of how I want it. I'm measuring it out because like I said, you have to take your time. finished with that side now I just have to do the next side but you guys kind of get the drift of like what I'm doing now so 
I'm finished with that side and that middle part what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line it up a little more I don't want it to be crooked and I'm not gonna do the same thing as everything else with that because I like the look that that's giving but I also I'm gonna pluck it a little bit so it can look more straggly that one part because I don't want it to be so perfect And that's how it turned out.